kindergarten. Today we're going to read a book called The Reasons for Seasons. Hmm. How the position of Earth in relation to the sun causes seasons. I hope you're ready. Here we go. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. These are the four seasons of the year. Don't mind me while I move my little video. The sun warms the surface of Earth, the planet we live on. The tilt of Earth in relation to the sun changes throughout the year. This is what makes the seasons. Each season lasts about three months. Four seasons make a year. That's how long it takes for Earth to revolve or make one trip around the sun. As Earth circles the sun, different parts of Earth are closer to the sun than others. This affects the amount of light and heat they receive. Okay, so here's the Earth and here's the sun. And in one year, the Earth goes all the way around the sun. And in one year, we have winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Earth is slightly tipped as it turns on its axis. It makes one full rotation on its axis every 24 hours as it moves along its path around the sun. When the North Pole is tipped toward the sun and the South Pole is tipped away, it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere. That's where we are. And winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Six months later, when Earth has traveled to the other side of the sun and the North Pole is tipped away, it is winter in the Northern Hemisphere and summer in the Southern Hemisphere. The seasons of one hemisphere are always the opposite of those in the other hemisphere. So here we have the Earth. It's spring here and autumn over here. The equator is the line that goes around the Earth, dividing the north from the half, from the southern half. So the northern half is up top and the southern half is down below. So think North America, South America. South of the equator is called the Southern Hemisphere. North of the equator is called the Northern Hemisphere. The North Pole is on the northerly point on Earth. And the South Pole is the most southerly point on Earth. The Earth's axis is the line that goes through the Earth, joining the North and South Poles. Ooh, spring. In the Northern Hemisphere, spring begins around March 21st. We're getting close. This is the season when more sunshine causes cooler air to be replaced by warmer air. In the Southern Hemisphere, autumn is beginning. Hmm. The first day of spring is called the spring equinox. When spring begins in the northern hemisphere, Earth has moved along its path so that the sun is directly opposite of the equator. On this day, sun, daylight and darkness are the same length of time over the entire Earth. In ancient times, some people celebrated this day because it was the beginning of the growing season. Remember, you all learned that plants grow in the spring. Spring is the season when some birds that have been away for the winter return again. It's called migration. Some whales migrate too. Some animals that slept all winter wake up and look for food. Spring winds are good for kite flying. In the season when everything seems to come alive again, trees grow new leaves and flowers bloom. Some crops are planted. Slowly, the days in the Northern Hemisphere become longer because that part of the Earth is tilted more toward the sun. We see the sun higher in the sky. More direct sunlight reaches the ground for longer periods of time. What season is it that's the most hot? Summer. Summer begins in the Northern Hemisphere about June 21st. The Northern Hemisphere is tilted more toward the sun than at any other time of the year. It's the warmest season. In the Southern Hemisphere, winter is beginning. The first day of summer is called the summer solstice. It is the longest day of the year. On this day, we see the midday sun at its highest point in the sky. The hottest days of summer take place after the summer solstice because the earth keeps absorbing more heat. Flowers and plants grow under the warm sun. Many animals are busy raising new families. 
In the summertime, people have fun outdoors. They can go to a beach, swim in a lake, or read under the shade of a big tree full of large green leaves. During the summer, daylight is long. We see the sun high in the sky. It might still be daylight at bedtime. The nights are shorter. Autumn. Autumn begins about September 21st in the Northern Hemisphere. It is the season when the air starts to get cooler, the leaves of some trees turn to beautiful colors and fall to the ground, which is why some people call this season fall. In the Southern Hemisphere, spring is beginning. The first day of autumn is called the Autumn Equinox. When the autumn begins in the Northern Hemisphere, Earth has moved along its path so that the sun is directly opposite the equator again. On this day, daylight and darkness are about the same length of time over the entire Earth. Since ancient times, some people have celebrated this time of year because of autumn harvest. Some birds migrate to warmer climates. Animals prepare themselves for the long cold season to come. Children go back to school in many places. It's harvest season. Farmers gather their crops. There are county fairs, too. The air becomes cooler because the northern hemisphere is tilted farther away from the sun. The days grow shorter and the nights become longer. We see the sun lower in the autumn sky. Winter. In the northern hemisphere, winter begins about December 21st. This time of year, the northern hemisphere is tilted farthest away from the sun. It is the coldest season of the year. In the southern hemisphere, summer is beginning. The first day of winter is the shortest day of the year. This is called the winter solstice. On this day, we see the midday sun at its lowest point in the sky. In early times, the first day of winter was celebrated as a festival to honor light, to keep away darkness, and to hope for the sun's return. The coldest days of winter come after the winter solstice because Earth keeps losing the heat it gained in the summer. Leaves are gone for most trees. There aren't as many birds. Some animals sleep all winter. This is called hibernation. Often it's very cold. It may be time for ice skating, skiing, making snowmen. Some people wear winter coats, jackets, mittens, and hats. Sometimes it's nice to stay indoors. During winter, daylight is short and the nights are long. We see the sun low in the sky. Sometimes it's dark even before dinner. Areas near the equator have little temperature change during the year. In these places, they're hardly affected by the tilt of the earth. Instead, the seasons are marked by alternating rainy and dry periods. Two rainy and two dry seasons each year. Each day at the equator, daylight and darkness are almost always equal. At the North Pole and the South Pole, it is always cold. When a pole is tilted far away from the sun, it's winter. During parts of the winter, the sun never appears over the horizon. It's always dark all day. When a pole is tilted closer to the sun, it's summer. At times, it's always light. Light all night. Wow. So you have spring, summer, autumn, winter. Year after year, the seasons repeat themselves. Earth and its many relationships to the sun are the reason for the seasons. Wow, love that story. Okay, click on the exit ticket below. See you later, kindergarten.